So the reason why I got into vintage is because I was shopping designer clothing and fast fashion clothing, and I realized that not only is it expensive, but incredibly wasteful. I was going through clothes, I'd say more frequently, and because of that, I just didn't feel like my clothes were that special, and so now... With vintage, I feel like my clothing is much more special and meaningful to me. My wardrobe, I'd like to take care of, and it's like my expression of myself. Um, It's basically fresh. Everything's new every day, but it's old. Yeah. So, you know, things that I've never seen before fascinate me. Um, Anything mid-century modern, a few music groups I'm into, Nirvana, um, you know, so anything of of theirs is nice, but um, it's... I'm fascinated because it's, uh, again, like I say, it's things I've never seen before. Yeah. I would say here and there um, throughout my life, um, Goodwills and and whatnot. Um, But I would say I'm a little more focused on it now. Yeah. Because I'm around it more. Yeah. (laughs) I would say that because of TikTok and because of, you know, things like that, people posting what they buy and stuff like that, there comes the nostalgia. And then once they come into our, to our store, um, you know, any vintage store, they're hooked yeah. um, for the reasons I mentioned and then and more, you know, yeah. um, literally people crying because it's like, oh, my God, this belonged yeah. to my dad and, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Just yeah. it's, it's it's almost personal. It's cool. It's fun. Yeah. So um, a lot of things lead back to them having nostalgia. It's fun. Yeah. So you, you think that's probably here to stay then? Like, oh, for sure. Yeah. My God. Um, it's really prevalent here in the Hudson Valley. Yeah. Um, thrifting and, and all that. New York State for sure. Yeah. Um, but I would say versus like California where I grew up, um, it's definitely more prevalent here in okay. New York, especially, um, but it definitely has its presence everywhere. Just turned four years on March 18th. It was for the love of the business. I like doing this myself on yeah. days off and just cruising through different towns, different areas, different states. Yeah. And finding all of this out there, and now at least it's here. I actually had worked in retail before. Okay. So it's kind of like right up my alley. Yeah. It, later in life, maybe in my tw- late, late 20s, it started into now, of course, 20 or 30 years later. Yeah. An industrial farmhouse. Okay. Um, so it's the older metals, mm-hmm. wood pieces. Mm-hmm. Um, I have saws on my wall instead of art. That's awesome. I have old windows on my wall instead of pictures. Yeah. And stuff like that. I actually use the old windows as frames. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of more of it. And I like the clothing. Oh, definitely. You know, yeah. Yep. Definitely. I couldn't do anything mainstream. Yeah. Me too. I feel you. I think everything comes back around at some point. Yeah. Now I hear the 80s are coming back. Mm. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, that is. 80s are good. That's my genre. Um, I guess my favorite aspect would be just like going to a shop and not knowing where you're going to find and then maybe like finding something really cool. Yeah, it's like treasure hunting. At least through like high school, I've been going to like thrift shops and just like places around me. Honestly, yeah, yeah. probably just because they're all like broken in they're and all stuff. Beat like, up. Yeah. yeah, beat up. Yeah, so uh, kind of lived in. Yeah, if they're if they're sure. clean, then yeah, for sure. So this is like just a Patagonia fleece type thing. Yeah, um, chinchilla fleece. Yes, yeah, chinchilla. It's got a uh, this cool like leaf pattern on it um and i just think it's pretty sick i got it on depop like in high school Mm -hmm. and yeah i've just had it ever since and it's good every season it's really warm and uh it's cool i can like match it with pretty much anything and you got that for relatively cheap on depop right yeah i got this for like maybe 30, 30, 40 bucks. Exactly. And so that's something about vintage clothing that's super cool is that 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 fleece now is worth, you know, at least $100. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Um, you know, the price is always fluctuating. So that's also a cool aspect. And Patagonia is, the quality of Patagonia is just fucking unmatched because that shit will last. You know, um, I feel like I've at least been sort of aware of vintage clothing at least for a while now um my sophomore year of college so call it 
you know, 2021, I was living in Brooklyn across from one of the premier vintage stores in New York City. So I definitely had a lot of... That one's L-Train, right? That was L-Train Vintage, yeah. Yeah, So I definitely access... Uh, personally, I, I hate shopping. I hate going shopping. I hate Mm. trying things on. I love new clothes. Um, but I really just can't get into it. And then of course there's the money aspect, um, which is of course what makes vintage clothing so cool because a lot of it's really accessible and affordable. Um, and that I've just sort of been getting into styling myself, um, you know, in a, in a cool and hip and interesting way. Yeah. So my favorite vintage piece I've acquired um, is definitely my Formula One 89 uh, Ferrari shirt. This is a birthday present given to me by a friend of mine for my 20th birthday. And it's it's really special to me, not only because it was a gift from such a close friend, but because um, F1 is such a, you know, passion of mine. Um, and it's really cool how this friend was able to not only intertwine one of his interests with one of my own, but give me like a really unique piece of history um, that I could wear. Um, And yeah, it was just a really special gift. Sweet. And I'm sure you'll have it forever. Yeah. Yeah. Very high quality piece of clothing too. I think my favorite aspects of having the booth is probably um, just being able to sell um, and not have to worry about, um, you know, being there and interacting with people. Um, not that I don't love the social interaction between customers, um, but it's super easy to be able to drop stuff off um, and not have to be there and, you know, be able to check my phone uh, and be selling stuff while I'm working on other things. Not many other, uh, you know, kids my age have access to, uh, you know, a, pretty much a store. Um, for personal wardrobe, it's super random. Yeah. I've never really had like a specific thing that I'm looking for. Um, I think band shirts in particular. Um, I grew up listening to specific music, so I'm always looking for those particular bands, but those are more rare. Um, but just in general, I'm looking for cool patterns, cool colors, um, anything that has really, it's really good quality. Um, but yeah, nothing like super specific as a variety of different things. Um, but when I do come across the things that I like, um, it's like a no brainer. Like I pick it and I'm like, this is for me. Like no doubt. I think, um, especially during COVID, we saw like people going back and looking at, you know, like what was popular when they were a kid. Like people were going back on, you know, going through baseball cards and going through things that, you know, they haven't looked through in a while just because they had all this time in their hands. Um, so I think in that sense, like COVID really kind of like made everyone look back on like quote unquote, the good times, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, and it like really influenced like, um, what people were like getting back into now. So you see like, you know, people realizing like, Oh, I have these shirts. Like these are cool. Like I can wear these again. Um, and it's kind of goes back on that idea of like circular fashion and circular Mm -hmm. trends and how that, um, how that constantly is affecting society as a whole. There are many facets of vintage that make it an interesting topic to discuss. It's novelty in mainstream culture have propelled it to revive the dying retail experience. With so many places to shop for vintage now, there are fewer excuses to have fast fashion and cheaply made products be the main source for one's wardrobe or house. Vintage is the things that are old, but new, that despite having come from someone else, tell a story that will be added to by the next owner. A poetic cycle for clothing to keep bringing joy to whoever stumbles across the piece next. So what are you waiting for? Go hit the thrifts and vintage stores and find that unique piece. It's waiting for you.